How short are you? Oh my God. I'm not that short. I'm kidding. I'm actually 4'11". I, I, uh, I, I, I don't mind being short, but I'm an adult. I'm 40 years old. And people talk to me like this. Hi. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh my God. You can open a bank account. That's adorable. I'll stab you. In the vagina, the ankle. Whatever is in my sphere. I have to tell kids. Every time I go to my friend's house, I have to tell the kids, hey, no, I'm not one of you. Now put me down and stop that. I'm telling your mom. No, I'm like, they always want to play with me. They're like, come on, let's go play tag. I'm like, no, I smoke. I can't. Uh, I'm from, um, I just went home to visit, uh, I'm from Boston, anybody? Okay, one person, that's great. You understand about the stabbings if you're from Boston, okay. Uh, if we're Boston, first of all, Boston people have an accent. They don't say their R's. I get that. They go, oh yeah, whatever, Charlene. Okay. But this is what I did not remember. Every time I was at my grandmother's house, I kept saying, hey, can I have this yogurt? She'd go, no, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> can I use the card? No, you cunt. <laughs> I know what you're saying to me. Boston people are very angry, that's all I'm trying to say. Uh, my grandmother is, uh, my grandmother's shrinking. She's up to here now, so. I'm not gonna die, I'm just gonna disappear off the face of the earth, that's great. Okay, that's fun. Uh, but I had to, but the thing was, like I was with my niece and then I was putting my niece in the car seat and the, the law, the car seat law, because of the airbags, you know what it is? Oh yeah, four nine. <laughs> I'm two inches away from a car seat? Are you kidding? <laughs> yes, ma'am, you are. Right there. Definitely. Car seat, right there. All I'm saying is, like, you have that conversation with your grandmother. Get in. Like, get in. No, I don't care if in World War II. Get in. Yes, you have to face the other way. Just because she's mean. <laughs> and then I was laughing because she's so like, you know, she smokes and she drinks. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so funny to put her in that car seat and have people be like, pull up beside her. And she's like, eh, go back. <laughs> oh my God, that little baby looks horrible. <laughs> it's Benjamin Button. I'm scared. All right. Uh, my sister, I don't have any kids. Um, I definitely have the stretch marks to prove I went to McDonald's though. <laughs> Uh, but my sister, my sister has three kids. My sister's uh, son is like uh, eight and she said she was gonna put him on Adderall. And I was like, oh, I don't think you should put your son on drugs. And she's like, really, Miss Have No Children? Oh. Really? What would you do? I said, I don't know, do what dad did to us. Slap him. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> A few ticks. She's like, well, he doesn't pay attention. I go, well, then slap him randomly. <laughs> Uh, so we're, okay, he was talking about divorce, but uh, divorce is what brought me to this lovely, lovely Los Angeles land. <laughs> Woo! Thank God for divorce! Um, anybody, anybody go through some heartbreak? Anybody know what heartbreak is? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, you're all liars. <laughs> I've seen Phil Collins, like, one more night, YouTube, three billion people hitting on that, and just one person, sure, okay. Well, if you've never found yourself half naked walking down a road with one Ugg and a flip-flop on, smoking, eating an ambient candy necklace that you made yourself, you don't know what life's all about, I'll tell you that. I do, I do say one thing though about breaking up with, this is what I've learned about breaking up with anybody. Two years, 10 years, 20 years, you know what? There's never gonna be a polite ending. There's never gonna be a courtesy of a good day to you, madam. Well, good day to you, fine sir. Well, good luck with your whoring. Well, good luck with your bitching. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah. Uh, uh, apparently my marriage was interfering with my husband's dating. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it makes you very angry. Very angry. I was a yoga teacher. I was so like into like love and peace and love and love. Buddha and whatever and namaste and nama whatever the fuck, I don't care. But then like, I was going through my divorce teaching yoga. I'd be in my yoga class smoking. Oh, you're flexible? Good for you. You can put your legs over your head? Well, so can horse. I have a whore obsession. I never noticed whores until I stole my husband. But now I see them everywhere. Yeah. No, whores are my Vietnam. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can talk about them. Seriously, like, you know, Bruce Willis in The Sixth Sense where he's like, I see dead people. I'm like, I see whores. They're everywhere. Only because nobody wanted my husband. We had a Buick, a Buick Regal, 1999, 12 years, nothing. We get a Jaguar, it's like a whore invasion. It's a horticulture. I've been studying the Kim Kardashians with all the stilettos. It's a whore nation, I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying, I go to the airport, stilettos. I'm like, really, stilettos at the airport? Where are you going, sky whore, seriously? <laughs> it's a recession, the holidays are coming. Better watch your little husbands because you know, the little, this area is like the Death Star for some women. It just sucks in stuff like <laughs> houses. <laughs> You'll be at the airport. Honey, what's wrong? Your Rolex. <laughs> honey, take it off. Take it off. Honey, where's the dog? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I don't need any of you. Just her. I just need one person to laugh at the dog joke. That's hilarious. Okay. All right, I'll be done. And if you're not laughing, you're a whore. I'm just, I, I'm actually being playful. I'm being playful. Calm down, Pasadena. I, uh, the, only, the only thing left over from my divorce was uh, I smoke. And I only smoke here and there, but people are so mean to you. People are my mother's. I don't know who these people are, but every day they're yelling out at me. You're gonna stunt your growth. I'm like, I stopped growing in first grade. <laughs> who are you? Who are these people that are so concerned with my health? And then you know what they say? It's not about you. Cause that's a lie. It's not about you. <laughs> it's secondhand smoke. When you're smoking, I'm smoking. I'm like, oh my God, well then pitch in. <laughs> These are expensive. These are like $30 a pack and you're bragging about smoking my smoke? <sighs> the only thing is like, I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna talk about dating because I was like, I refused. I refused. I'm too old. I don't wanna do anything. I'm not dating. I don't even, guys are like, you wanna go on a date? Wanna go to dinner? I'm like, no, I can make my own dinner. Can you go to the store for me? I have a list for you. Can you put up my shower curtains and stuff? I can't do anything myself. I don't know. I, I just, I just can't be out here. And then the horrible thing about, I was married for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So when you come back out here, do you know what happens when now in the day and age we're in of computers um, and you give your uh, number out, you know what you get back? Guess. A penis. <laughs> like that. Oh my God, there's a picture of your grandfather's penis. <laughs> Ugh, you're so lucky. Back then they had to draw it.
they were they were in the war and then they had to draw it, put a little sailor's cap on it, just make it cute, you know. And attention, and then they put a stamp in it, and then they mailed it, and it took a boat, and then a plane from Germany, but I got it. <laughs> I just feel like, oh, okay, that's what we're playing. All right. Um, people, people who, who, if you ever were trying to get out, you're like, I gotta get out of this. I'm, I'm tired of her and her, whatever. Because um, it's always like that, whatever. But um, anyway, I'm just saying, you're tired of bitching. Whatever you're tired of, there's nothing out here. There's nothing out here. People want to get out, and then the other people that are out want to get back in. <laughs> what I'm saying is, there's nothing out here, so stay in. Because people always like would say to me, there's other fish in the sea, surely. <laughs> Darling, there's other fish in the sea. And then you're like, not after 40. <laughs> it is a horrible aquarium of fish. <laughs> It is the catch and release program <laughs> of fish. Nobody wants his fish. Nobody, it's fish that are all effed up. It's fish that have a bite taken out of its tail and an eye missing and a little poo string and it's just... It's found at the bottom of the aquarium just quivering like... Oh, Propecia alimony. Fish that you wake up with and they have that mask. <laughs> like an octopus is on their head. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I did, um, I did, I just want to say I'm so excited. Um, I did, I did get a boyfriend. Um, thank you. I didn't even have to date. I met him at work. Be I call it BMT before me too. Um, <laughs> you are not supposed to do that now. I'm glad I got in. I snuck in. Because <laughs> then it would just been harassment. <laughs> you know what I did say though? Um, I was just being funny though. People would come up to him and we worked on sitcoms and they would say, what, especially, you're not even supposed to do it there. Oh my God, it's horrible. But this was way before he, I, they go, what do you do here? And I would look at him and I'd go, him. <laughs> <laughs> not funny, not funny, not funny. You cannot do that. Okay, um, I will say that we broke up a bunch of times. At least, I'm not even kidding, five or seven times. Five or seven times. Um, because when we, were, we met, he was divorcing and I'm divorced. And what you realize is two divorced people trying to get together, it's like two burn victims trying to hug. <laughs> he's very nice. And uh, he's very nice, he's very nice. Sometimes you know they're too nice. You know what I mean? Like he like opens the car door for me, he buys me flowers, he makes me breakfast. I'm like, oh my God, gay. <laughs> he, uh, no, he's very sweet. He's very sweet, but uh, I will say this and then I gotta go. You guys have been so great. Thank you so much for being so kind. Um, um, I will say there's different advice from when you're 20 and when you're 40 for breaking up. Huge, huge difference. I'm looking for like these young little, little whatever. Oh, there you are. How old are you? Oh my God, you're sitting 27. A woman who should say, how old are you? Shut the fuck up if they were 40. <laughs> None of your goddamn business. <laughs> okay, um, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, that is such a millennial name if I ever heard of it. <laughs> Rebecca! So, Rebecca, I bet you're, all your friends are like, what? He didn't text you back? That's bullshit, Rebecca. <laughs> you are a princess, okay? You are done. You are done, no more. I, oh, he took you to the ice house on a Saturday? You are done, okay? You are at least worth a $100 meal, okay? No, 
but like my friends, I would be telling them, I'm like, um, I think he's cheating. And they would be like, okay, so? Do you get him every other weekend? That's great. Do you like her perfume? Maybe she'd like us and we could hang out. He hit me. Well, was it open palm? All right, thank you guys. My name is Charlotte. You guys have a great day. Hey, give it up for Charlene, guys!